Welcome back. In this section, we're going to discuss the topic of proximity bias. One of the biggest concerns regarding hybrid work models is the fact that people might get treated differently based on which location they choose to work from. Proximity bias is the notion that a tendency exists in all of us to give preferential treatment to those in our immediate vicinity, suggesting we favour those who are physically close to us over those who aren't. Like any bias, it is a natural instinct and an evolutionary part of our cognitive decision-making process, which we've used for generations as a mental shortcut to prioritise what feels safest to us. In a hybrid workplace, proximity bias typically refers to leaders having different attitudes, often subconsciously, towards employees who work remotely versus those who are working from the office, leading to inequality between on-site and remote employees. It is most commonly associated with instances where managers believe that on-site employees work harder and are more productive than remote employees, simply because they can physically see them doing their work, whereas they can't see remote employees all the time and therefore have to trust that they are doing the same. This favoritism can create what's called a halo effect, where we build an inflated view of those who are nearby whilst overlooking the achievements of individuals who are further away. Proximity bias is obviously not a good thing to have in a hybrid workplace. It damages the reputation of remote employees and can be powerful enough to hinder their career prospects when compared to those who spend more time being physically present in the office. A leading researcher in this space, Professor Nicholas Bloom from Stanford University, says that in the past, workers who spent more time working from home seem to unfairly lose out on promotions to colleagues who are more frequently present in the workplace. This situation can obviously make remote workers feel disengaged and unhappy about their chances for career development at the company. So what can we do to avoid or overcome proximity bias in a hybrid workplace? Our labs recommend the following four steps. Step one, identify the beneficiaries of proximity bias. Before you can begin to eliminate any problem, you first need to understand the root cause of that problem. Start by identifying areas where proximity bias might manifest itself in your workplace, such as teams with a large number of remote workers or those who are in roles that require frequent face-to-face -face contact with those in leadership positions. Once you've identified potential areas where proximity bias may arise, you'll know where to target your strategy and messaging. Step two, run a pulse survey with your employees regarding their perception of proximity bias. As part of your regular check-ins with employees, ask them if they believe they are treated differently depending on the location where they work each day, or if they believe that on-site workers are prioritised over remote workers. Step three, implement equal employee opportunity policies and processes. For example, if the results of your Pulse survey indicate that employees are worried about proximity bias, perhaps address this issue in a company-wide statement or with the use of educational materials. Just having an awareness of proximity bias is often enough to eradicate it. Educating your team members on proximity bias will definitely help to begin eliminating it from your workplace. And you might do this by conducting a town hall dedicated to the topic, preparing appropriate and accessible educational resources, or inviting an external expert to share knowledge and experiences on the subject with examples of how other companies might have tackled it. Creating a level playing field for employees starts at the top, and managers should regularly discuss professional development opportunities with all employees, and take time to hear if employees feel included, 
no matter what their work location preferences might be. And finally, step four, continuous monitoring of your hybrid workforce. To truly eradicate the opportunity for location-based biases, organizations should put systems into place to continuously monitor both remote and office-based employees and their relationships with one another. Create a list of anti-proximity bias steps that both managers and employees can follow and include them in your training materials and supporting resources. The main thing to remember when navigating proximity bias in a hybrid workplace is that at their core, all members of your organization are on the same team, regardless of how often an employee might come to the office or how often they might work remotely. Each one is a member of your company and should be treated with equal and mutual respect.